Today's Green Road is about buying a car, and more specifically, purchasing a car that has the best fuel economy for your needs. Shoppers rely on the fuel ratings provided by Natural Resources Canada. Each vehicle is required to have a city and highway fuel rating. By comparing vehicles, one would hope to get an accurate example of a potential vehicle's fuel consumption. But that wasn't always the case, until now. Previously, city and highway driving tests had been done in a lab, so they didn't accurately display real-world driving conditions. That's going to change for 2015, where the tests will add three new elements. Cold weather starting, hard acceleration, and driving with the air conditioning on. So, for 2015, we have much more realistic fuel numbers. But, from a manufacturer's point of view, is this good for the consumer? The whole intent of, um, uh, of the standard was, allow, was, was to allow consumers to be able to make comparisons between vehicles in, the sim in similar segments. But, of course, it's not just that. You don't want, want to simply have a comparative test. You want to be able to, to give the consumer some good understanding what they're likely to achieve on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're supportive of moving to the five cycle test. Um, you know, there's still, there's still more work that can be done to, uh, to bring it in line with real world conditions. And particularly in, the, in uh, Canada where we have, uh, you know, extreme cold temperatures, uh, uh, you know, snow driving conditions, a number of other things that affect uh, overall performance of the vehicle. So what can consumers expect from these new numbers? Well, sometimes it's the message and how it's framed in advertising. Well, I think there are two pieces to the, to the puzzle. One is making sure that, in fact, the car um, you know, tests appropriately and, uh, and gives you achievable results. And, and for the most part, we've been pretty close. The second part of it, though, comes down to how you market the vehicle. And uh, you know, there's been a tendency in Canada over the last few years to, to go out and do things like, like uh, advertise highway fuel economy. Uh, that's not something that we do. We, uh, we offer both highway and city numbers when we advertise. Um, unfortunately, if you live in Montreal, Toronto, or Vancouver, typically your commuting distances are longer than they are in the U.S. They're at, they're at lower speeds, so you never really hit those highway, uh, highway numbers. And uh, the result of, of marketing that's focused on highway numbers is that it tends to, uh, it, it tends to exaggerate the performance and it, uh, I, I think it ends up leaving the consumer uh, dissatisfied. The good news is for 2015, the numbers have never been better, but you still need to make sure you do your due diligence. Compare similar cars and make sure you really consider your driving style so you can get the most realistic consumption numbers.